Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll give you an update on the Zika virus, weekly price jump in fuel, and more. Today is Thursday, September 1st, and this is the lunch break. State health officials on Monday reported another locally transmitted case of the Zika virus in Miami-Dade County. The new case brings a state total of locally transmitted Zika cases to 43, with the Florida Department of Health reporting the latest incident was associated with a 1.5 square mile zone in Miami Beach. That area, along with the one square mile area in the Wynwood community in Miami, have been focuses of the state effort to combat the spread of the mosquito-borne virus. You can read more at NaplesHerald.com. The Pace Center for Girls Guilt-Free Shopping Spree, the Love That Dress event, has come to a close. This year's event exceeded expectations, raising more than $6,000 over their goal. In total, a prevention program for girls ages 12 to 18 raised more than $126,000 from their sixth collection events and annual shopping spree fundraising event. All six collection events collected over 4,000 gently loved dresses, shoes, and accessories and raised $58,938.23. Every single cent raised will go directly to the at-risk girls participating in the Pace Center in Lee County. The remaining quarter will be sold at the Love That Dress clearance sale on September 24th. The clearance event will be held at the Pace Center for Girls in Fort Myers from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Whatever is left over from the event will be sold on shopgoodwill.com and will benefit both Goodwill and the Pace Center. Fuel prices saw a big run up over the last week with Florida seeing the largest of all the American Automobile Association said on Monday. In their weekly fuel report, AAA found that prices in Florida jumped an average of 13 cents over the past week. In Naples, it was more as some gas stations saw prices reset upward by as much as a quarter overnight. The average price of a gallon of gas in Collier County on Monday was $2.26, four cents above the state average of $2.22, and five cents above the national average. Drivers in Lee saw a 13 cent jump over the last week, but are still generally seeing lower than average prices at $2.17 per gallon. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.